So what happens if we, let's say we find a bug in the module or we have a change we want to make and nobody else has made that? There's no actual patches already to apply for us. In those cases we need to create our own patch. So let's, uh, let's do a quick example of that. I'm going to actually look at the abu flag abuse info file here and uh, the description says replaces flag and views to create social content moderation tools. Well, it only really creates a tool, so I'm going to change it to say a social moderation tool. And I'm going to save that. And when we do a git status, we have that the flag abuse info uh, has been modified. How do we create a patch out of that? Well, if we go back to the module page and we go to the version control tab we can see down here creating a patch git diff greater than sign and then description issue number comment number we don't actually have an issue number for this yet so what would we would need to do would be to go and create one so if we go back to our issue queue and click create new issue and we create this issue we fill it out. We want to say the version number, uh, what component. Let's say this is the code. Uh, let's see. It's let's call it a bug report just to just to be like that. And we don't want to assign it to anybody. Priority is really minor, and we'll set it to active. Say we want to change description for accuracy. So not really a big deal, it's kind of a silly example, but um, you kind of get the idea. When we save this, uh, we get a node ID for this issue. We've created this node, and we now have a node ID. We want to copy that node ID, and that's going to be used in the, the name of our file. So back here, looking at the version control tab of our project, we have git diff description. I'm going to give it a small description. You're going to use that issue number. And then we're going to attach it to the first comment. So we're going to say comment, and the comment, put the comment number in there. So let's go ahead and do that. We know that we're modified. Git diff greater than, let's say description change issue number, and the comment number we'll attach it to is 1. Uh, patch. Now if we do a git status, you'll see that the modification is still in place and we have a description change patch. Let's go back to our issue and we'll say here's the patch. The first thing to do is we want to actually attach this patch. Modules flag abuse, here's our description change patch. And attach that patch. And since we're attaching a patch, we want to notify everybody that there's something here to review. So we say this needs review. And save that. And there you go. You've created a patch, you've uploaded a patch, you have successfully contributed to this module, and it's more likely to get in and get reviewed uh, because you've actually done some work rather than just coming into an issue queue and saying, hey, I got this problem. Uh, you can come in and say, hey, I found this problem, and here is a solution for it. Much more helpful. Uh, thanks for listening.